Let's start with Jed Bull, who is looking into one model that shows Utah cases are set to peak this week. Jed? Yeah, Dini, those projections out of the University of Washington have fluctuated a bit in the last few weeks. Right now, they're projecting that the peak for deaths here in Utah will be Saturday. That's just one day after the projected peak for hospitalizations on Friday. The state epidemiologist isn't so sure about that projection, but she says our hospitals are ready to handle a surge of patients if that's what happens. Lots of models out there. They are all inaccurate. Some are very helpful. Dr. Angela Dunn says it would be great if Utah peaked in deaths this week and started to see a decrease. But it's too early to read that trend in state data. There are signs that, um, again, we are starting to flatten the curve, which would be a good sign with mortality as well. However, um, we are preparing that, for, in public health at least, preparing our resources in case we continuously see an increase. Three weeks ago, that model projected 18 deaths for five straight days at the peak. Now predicting six deaths today with a peak of seven deaths each day starting Wednesday and lasting through early next week. Fortunately, the health department reported only one death today for a total of 28 so far. We do see some good signs. However, we are going to continuously watch it for the next week or so before we can have any confidence in the true trends that we're seeing. The model is based upon the assumption that we are all social distancing until infections start to minimize. Right now, the infection rate remains high. We are very fortunate in Utah that all of our health care systems um, are prepared for a surge in patients due to COVID-19. Stopping elective surgeries early in the outbreak enabled our hospitals to reserve their personal protective equipment and beds for those who might need it with the COVID-19 outbreak. We're definitely prepared in the state for that. Now, according to that model and those projections, if that plays out, we could be ready for social distancing in the middle of June. Guys? Well, it seems like a way to go on this. Jed, thank you.